Elite Foot and Ankle Associates. Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, surgery isn't always the answer for common foot problems, and getting them treated can be life-changing. Our own Tammy Hernandez checks out a local clinic bringing major relief to their clients. I'm in Sandy at Elite Foot and Ankle Associates with the owner, Dr. Trevor Haynes, and bunions and hammer toes are a big problem out in the world. They and are. You love to treat them. I do. I really do. So let's talk about it. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about bunions. Sure. What is a bunion? What causes a bunion? And how do we get relief? Yeah, so a bunion is kind of, uh, it's a big bump along the inside of the foot. They're typically caused by genetics. Uh, most people are either predisposed to getting a bunion or not. Shoes play a huge role into, if they're too tight, they can exacerbate those bunions. While they don't cause the bunion themselves, they can exacerbate the bunion. Uh, your activities, whether you're flat-footed, whether you have high arches, all those things can play a big role as to why one person may get a bunion and another person not. Okay, and at what point should somebody come to you to get a bunion treated? Well, I think anytime you have a bunion, it's good to have it evaluated. Um, for surgically, we typically don't do surgery unless it's a painful bunion, but it's good to at least talk to someone so that you can find out maybe what the steps are to correct your bunion uh, because there are different stages. Some are very mild and some are very severe. And the more severe ones take a lot more to correct. Okay, well, let's talk about how you correct it. You really like the minimally invasive approach. I do. So I let's do. talk about it. Can you show me on that foot what we're talking about here? Yeah, so there's kind of, there's two theories to minimally invasive. Um, we do both. Uh, one would involve hardware. We also do some where we don't do any hardware. Okay. Right? Uh, the key for us is more of the at least for myself, is the non-hardware model, um, where basically what we do is we come into this foot, we use a tool that uh, is like a dental drill. It's very high torque, but very low speed. So it will cut bone, but will not cut any of the soft tissues around it. Oh, interesting. So what we do is we make a small little stab right here next to the bunion. Um, we'll clean up that bump that everybody knows is a yeah. bunion. And then we make a small, we take a small wedge out of the bone uh, right here. Okay. Uh, we and then we do the same thing kind of up here in the toe. We make a small little stab incision. Uh, again, no bigger than a needle stick for the most part. Oh, interesting. Uh, take another wedge out of this bone in the toe, and then we kind of just close down those wedges. And by closing down those wedges, it really brings that whole deformity back into alignment and corrects the bunion. And then we just aggressively splint it. And by doing that, we can avoid putting in all these plates, screws, and right. other things that you typically see. And is that something you do in one of your offices? We actually do do that in our office, yeah. Whereas all the others where you use plates and screws, you've got to go to the hospital, go under anesthesia. Um, so your way seems like it saves money, too. It absolutely does. Okay. Right? Because they're avoiding all those hospital costs. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, let's talk about hammer toes. Okay. So what's a hammer toe? So hammer toes, uh, again, uh, it can be caused by genetics, but there's also things like uh, neurological or muscular atrophy type conditions that can lead to hammer toes. Uh, and basically what happens, if I can show you on here, is this toe becomes really contracted. It kind of sticks up oh. in space and kind of claws over just like oh. this. Those can be problematic because that knuckle on top can rub in your shoe. You can get a sore on the tip of your toe. There's a lot of things that a, a hammer toe can cause problems in many right. different ways. Yeah. So for those, again, we, we do a minimally invasive approach done in the office. Again, very simple, very easy, where we make basically two, maybe three stab incisions and uh, we correct the hammer toe. That's great. And, and I'm really impressed that you love to treat these two issues bunions and hammer toes you really love it and <laughs> that so says fun. a lot if i had those issues i would want to come to someone who loves it sure. so good job dr Thanks. haynes <laughs> okay so if you want more information about elite foot and ankle associates they have five locations portland sandy king city beaverton and canby and we'll have a link to their website on our website and that's at katu.com thanks so much dr haynes you're welcome back to you Thanks, Tammy. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.